What's going on today, guys? We're just going to jump right into this. It's a little different. Doing some GTA missions. We're going to go to jobs, host a job, go to Rockstar Created Jobs, missions, and you're going to look for Rooftop Rumble. Now, here's the thing. The, uh, the mission's only available when you're ranked 75 or higher. So within a couple days, two, three, four, whatever days that it's going to be, I'll post another way how to rank up to get to 75 much easier and still have enough fun with your friends. Now, you're going to want to follow the on-screen instructions to do the actual um, most RP and money. And you can do this by yourself. I recommend not doing it by yourself because mainly, number one, it takes a lot longer, more than five minutes. And number two, with friends, you can have more fun and joke around, you know, who drives, who grabs about, like, what, stuff like that. And so I have my friend Darkness uh, here, and uh, we're going to launch this up. Now, we have a little special technique the way we do it. The way we do it is, you're going to see, we spawn in, and like I said, you can have four people with this, so it's much faster for four people. Um, I jump in the car, he heads around to the side of the building. Now, very importantly, don't trip the parking lot marker. Try and get away from it as much as you can, because... When you trip it, all the enemies spot up in the parking lot, and they sometimes do see you, and they get, you know, like, frightened, whatever, shoot at you, and stuff like that. So you want to time it together, and I say start shooting now, and we start shooting. I mean, you can throw grenades over to the side, that's what I usually do, blow up the cars to the sides, because there are usually people head glitching and stuff like that, with the AIs. And pretty much, you just want to be able to complete this as fast as you can, and the reason you don't trip the parking lot, um marker is because if you do there's like it's pretty much a drug deal going down kind of you could say and if you trip it sometimes the guy gets a little frightened he drives off with the bomb all it does is cause extra time for you to get it and it's just not fun like you have to chase the guy down in a car it's it's just extra work you don't want to do and yeah nobody wants to do that so right now here i grabbed a briefcase i'm telling my friend let's go we gotta get out of here quickly and the reason we have to get out of here quickly is because once you grab it, the longer you stay around, the more cars come to try and kill you, like, of the mob, whatever, whatever these people are, like, 7-Eleven owners, you could say. And they try and kill you, and as you can see on the main map, one starts chasing us, and for the fun of it, just, I just throw down stickies and try and cause havoc. And also, watch out for the uh, AI drivers, because they do actually purposely try to hit you. Like, don't think, oh, it's just a driver, and I actually fail right here, and, uh, and then, yeah. Definitely you want to carry sticky bombs because right here this case really helped me out right here as you can see I just totally destroy that car and throughout this driving to the guy's house Marvin Drazio's house you want uh, to definitely have sticky bombs on about five cars try and kill you and I uh, skip ahead here to show you that it takes not it, it's about five minutes the recording time was about five minutes and I speed this up right here just to show you you deliver the package, he says some cute little words to you, have a little nice conversation, no tea for you. And then he pretty much just says, alright, you're good, and gives you a big amount of money. And, yeah, so look at that, 18,000, almost 19,000, and more than 4,500 RP. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, I really appreciate it, and BF4 content will be out soon. Alright, peace.